just kidding. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ashley. And I'm Jada. And welcome back. Today we're going to do story time about some outside adventures that we've had. Yep. Adventures slash mishaps. Got my tropical fun shirt on outside to talk about the outside Flowers adventures. Flowers on my dress. Yes. However, it sounds like the weather may not totally cooperate. It is thundering just a little bit, so you might hear some of that. It's Florida. It's been weathery. Yeah. So, you know how it is. Tropical storms moving in. So the first one we're going to tell you is an actual mishap, and it involves the lovely Ashley, who is so talented and graceful in most everything she does, except for this. She's going to knock on wood because mishaps happen to me, to this girl, not this one, this one. Injury, it's this one. I like to say Stace and Stace. Say Stace, not Stace. Okay, so what is this? Because she didn't tell me that we were going to start with me. So what is the Stace story? the skiing. Oh, okay. When have you been less graceful? <laughs> I didn't know if we were going to go in chronological order or not. So, so, unfortunately, there are no pictures of this because this was the age before smartphones where you could take a picture and a video of everything. That's true. Um, we went skiing with church, and it was it was pretty decent at it. We both were. No, it was actually, Jada's Jada's a wimp when it comes. She's a scared kid. You were. I don't cat. like to go fast. So, um, and it's, wait, she's I'm a scary cat, but she was complaining about how she's the one that's had all the damage done to her body, and uh, never mind the correlation. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, it was actually the last slip of the day. Isn't that how these things always go? Um, and we go down and there is a guy who falls in front of me. That's in, I'm behind. Let me tell it because I was behind and I saw it. He fell. She swooped around to miss him and in missing him, she ran right into a pole. Mm -hmm. And like the ski leg. lift, the ski lift. Um, I'll try to find a picture, but her cast was stand up real quick. Yeah. Her cast came all the way up, to the way up like. It was my left leg. Because came all the way up to here. But this is where I broke it. I don't know if you can. No, you can't see the scar. Can you see? Yeah, You're you can. So right there. You can see it. She's so white. But no, no my shorts practically blended. But it's because her. Oh, sorry. It's because her. Yeah, she, I tell people it's like I got hit with a baseball bat because um, on it was the metal thing to go up to the ski lift. Like nowadays they have padding around all of this, mm. probably because people like me broke bones. It's so lesson learned for them. But um, her leg went like this. It kind of separated. And so that's why she wore the cast all the way up there. A very clean break. Like they didn't have to set it. No. Mm -hmm. The doctor, when I went to the ER, when my dad took me to the ER when we got back was like, I don't think this is a break, but we'll go ahead and take an extra. I was like, well, it kind of hurts a lot. Like, I can feel every pebble on the road on the drive here. Um, so he took it. He was like, oh, you're right. You snapped this right in half. But yeah, like I said, a clean break. But the reason the cast had to be way up there is they said they couldn't put it below the knee because the weight would pull it and then my bone wouldn't grow back right. And I would have like an indiscrepancy between the length of my legs. Yep. Another outdoor adventure that we had was um when we went this one nothing happened like you know like that it's um <laughs> physically nothing happened it was more but emotional it was, it was like we we went skydiving have we talked about skydiving before i don't think so for one of our mother's birthday we got our skydiving package she wanted to go i didn't want to go skydiving because as we've talked about i'm cautious um, and but, she has a fear of heights and just anything that's adventurous. I mean, don't say that. Don't loads of stuff that's adventurous. But anyways, I was, of I was, we went skydiving with my mom because she wanted to go skydiving and it was her birthday present. And so we got it and we all went. And um, in the plane, I have a, a small panic attack and Ashley and mom are, <laughs> you are have, just laughing hysterically. You have to wear goggles. They put like these goggles that are like. Suctioned on to you. I had to like, like take mud off. I was like fogging up and puddles and stuff like that. Because I was freaking out and crying. And they're <laughs> laughing. But what they don't tell you is that it takes your breath away. Like when you go out of the plane, you're like, <gasps> and I just thought, I'm going to choke to death. And will you please pull the cord? I want to make sure it opens. Her now, I will say though, in movies, yeah, I might have just been having a panic. It <laughs> always looks like you jerked really hard whenever you pull the parachute and stuff like that but and it does 
still look like that, but the feeling is like all of a sudden just becoming weightless. Yeah, you're just being weightless. Going from really fast to weightless. There's no jerking feeling. I imagined it being like one of those elevators dropping yeah, you yeah, really like fast a, and you stopping at no, the bottom. And no. then it's really quiet. Yeah. You know, it's, it's very so serene. loud when you're falling and then it's so quiet. So then, my first ever hospital knee injury was the last day of fourth grade. So I think that may have been one of the most disappointing things is that I didn't get to go to school and show off my badass injury. Jade and, <laughs> Jade and I were riding double on a bicycle. I was on the handlebars and she was on the back. And we were riding on fresh gravel. So hadn't had time to wear down or anything no. like that. And our brother, who was six four. Of, yeah, four. If we were fourth grade, he was four. Yeah. At the time, just like swoops in on his three wheeler like this. The little plastic one. Yes. Jada goes to dodge him. So she like, run over my baby brother. Turns the handle really quick. I go flying off as much as you can off the top of a handlebar. But enough so that I land and uh, she got a good scar. You're gonna see her white leg again because you got a good scar for this one. Yeah. Same leg. Right here. All the way down. I really don't know if you can tell because you're so fail. <laughs> Maybe we'll try to take a picture of it and then I'll impose it on there for that super fun. I'll take a picture and I'll change the, the color a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so so you can see, yeah. Um, but because yeah, because usually you can say scars because scars are lighter than your skin, but when your skin is already based, you don't want so much of a difference. But um all the way down to the bone. We were in bathing suits, which we weren't supposed to be in bathing suits outside. It was really place. hot. It was hot, but we weren't supposed to be. So we didn't want Dad to immediately know that we were in bathing suits. So I actually suits. sneaks, like, I go in the front door. I open the downstairs door. Dad's upstairs. I open the downstairs door and sneak her in, and we go to the bathroom. And I'm like, Ashley, there's too much blood. I've got to tell Dad. Sorry. No, at first I changed. Remember, I put, oh, on, yeah, yeah. I put on shorts and stuff like that. I took, I don't know why, we, instead of just... You know, we knew to apply pressure, but we we made the napkin wet and then applied it. Which is stupid. Anyways. Okay, so I've got my wet little gauze-ish napkin that you're trying to stop the bleeding. Walk into the living room where my dad is watching a western and I sit on the chair across from him. So it was calm. But I said, Dad, I'm and he hurt. looks over. And I was like, Dad, I'm hurt. I'm, I'm hurt, hurt real bad. <laughs> and then I take the napkin off. You can see there's blood running down and my like, leg and all this stuff. And like swoops her up and yeah, carries her to the bathroom. Like <laughs> Prince Charming style or whatever. Well, but it actually freaks the hell out of me. Because my dad, I was like, this is my big strong dad. Nothing scares him. And like, if this happened to my dad, he probably wouldn't have minded as much. But this is like. This constantly little, like getting like you know cuts and stuff yeah. goes on. Yeah. So this is my little girl. Um, so then Ashley goes, "Am I gonna die?" Yeah. <laughs> I went from being calm to like an emotional mess in like sixty seconds. But it was fine. She's yeah. got a little scar. And oh well, my like, gosh, can we talk about real quick how hot it is out here? The humidity. Was, whew, I'm gonna need a shower right after this episode because it's ninety degrees outside, y'all. And I was. Humidity is rough. Put that hair up. You can't put your hair up. Well, we've got like five minutes left of the video. Stop. Take your hair down. No. Take your hair no. down. You can't have it up halfway through the video. Why? Just, I actually, just take it down. <gasps> five more minutes. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, I know. Okay. Um, We would sometimes do goofy stuff. So... Where we grew up, the driveway is like super long and it's half paved and then it kind of like drops a little bit and goes into gravel, which was the fresh gravel that I cut my leg on. So for whatever reason, we asked our mom if we could ride on the hood of the van and she let us and it was, you know, fun, but we got to that bump and you have to kind of slow down and then there's a bump. Well, I slid off like hard. <laughs> mom didn't slow down enough for that 
Bump. So instead of she's a off she's a it. wonderful mother. This is before everyone worried about things. <laughs> Anyways, so I didn't want like anyone to be upset, and I didn't want mom to be upset, and I didn't want and her to like to say stop, no, like yeah, to say no to like fun stuff in the future. So I stood up and I'm like, I'm fine, I'm fine. And her hands, <laughs> I've got her blood hands. dripping. <laughs> All over the world. I'm not Probably is bottom. that that bad? You have to be hot. I know. To go to the doctor. No, but I did. One of my only little scars is right there from where I fell. I'm I don't sorry, know where. Where's, right there. Where's right there? Oh, the, let me get my magnifying glass out to see that scar. Whatever. But anyways, and then I get into the vehicle and I realize I'm bleeding from a couple <laughs> places, and I'm just like, we can see it though because when she sprung up, she's like, I'm fine, girl. <laughs> and so I'm just like. Keep it together. You want to do cool stuff in the future. <laughs> yes. Kids are resilient. If you just tell them they're fine, they'll be okay. When you tell them they're not fine, then they're like, oh, I must be dying like Ashley over and there. And so, but anyway, so this took a turn for things that we injured ourselves with when we were outdoors. And so um, we had a couple of other stories lined up, but when we start talking... Yeah, that's why I was like, I don't know where you're going with this because Things that was just um, happened. Yeah. And so um tell us in the comments down below maybe some little adolescent scuffles that you got into doing some fun things or if you had a really cool outdoor adventure that you'd like to tell us about. <laughs> you said scuffles, it makes me think of oh, how like, dad dad built us the tree house and when I jumped it fell on your face and gave you a nose plane. <laughs> That was, she was so horrible, guys. I was just laying, enjoying, and she just plopped her bony little behind down on me and broke my nose. She didn't break her nose. I probably broke my nose, but we didn't go to the doctor. It'd be that. jacked up. It'd be Owen Wilson. If it was broken. Anyways. I can do it like that. Thanks for joining us, guys. You have a great day. Bye. Bye.